He was, at one point, arguably the most famous man in the world. Muhammad Ali went places. His storied boxing career taking him to Zaire, the Bahamas, Japan, and the Philippines. During the middle round, when they would class with blood splattering, uh, the, the lights would uh, turn, uh, turn red. It was really, I said, what was this? Some 25,000 people packed a sweltering Araneta Coliseum. Manila streets were empty. The fight was dubbed Thrilla in Manila, and it sure lived up to its name. He said, after the fight, this is almost like dying. In fact, Ali almost quit. While he dominated in the first few rounds, his opponent, Joe Fraser, came back with punishing blows in the middle of the fight. The mistake, according to Ronnie Nathaniels, Ali's liaison officer at the time, came in the third round. He had Frazier in trouble in round three, but he didn't pursue it. He told me later he basically wanted to entertain the fans. His signature showmanship almost cost him the title and his pride. Almost, but not quite. I heard Bundina say, fight for God, Ali. He was really looking tired. Fight for God. And like uh, somebody who heard a magic word, you see him fight. Fight he did. And by the end of the 14th round, Frazier's trainer decided it was time to quit. Ali had won the match in the hearts of Filipinos and many others from around the world. Originally, the Filipinos' love for boxing was created by Gabriel Flasher Lorde when he knocked out Harold Gomes in the seventh round, the inauguration of the Araneta Coliseum in March 1960. Ali reinforced that love for boxing in the thriller in Manila, October 1, 1975. Manila will always be remembered as one of Muhammad Ali's greatest battlegrounds. And this is how Manila has immortalized Ali, a mall in his name. Barnabilo, CCTV, Manila.